this is the Neptune 4 Max. Ignore him. And this monstrosity of a 3D printer is what I'm going to be using to 3D print large prints that I couldn't possibly print on those guys without cutting them into pieces. And I just want to show the scale difference. So this is the Ender 3, and that's compared to <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, look at that. I can almost fit two perfectly on here. <laughs> that was funny. For uh, this right here, for these like bendable build plates, I've been using glue, just cheap glue to keep, like help with adhesion. And I thought, okay, that seems like a non-official thing to do, but I was wrong. Turns out they send you a, their own official glue stick. I might need to get that. I don't know if that's... Actually, hang on. Oh, would you look at that? It's the same material. I bet this glue stick probably cost a good bucks. <laughs> I still can't get over how big this thing is. Look at this thing. It's overhanging my desk. And like, look, it just, it just, I would pro, I could probably put that on here. I don't want to do it though, but I probably could. It's just so big. But the only way we can probably see how truly big this is to compare to something. And I know just the girl to do it. I would have gotten Freddy, but I don't want to unbury him. So, pizza girl, what happened we here? Be not afraid, for you are the chosen pizza girl. And <laughs> look at that. That is to that's Glam Rock Chica compared to the printer itself. It is massive. Now, I haven't tested it yet. I, I barely even got this thing. I just got it assembled. But in terms of like what it is, it's pretty cool. So well, all in all, it has, you know, it has a it has a filament out sensor. So if your filament breaks or you run a filament print, this will stop the print or pause it so you can add filament it has two cooling fans on the extruder uh the only downside is that the extruder sorry the nozzle for the extruder can only be got through l e l go whatever the hell you that so you know if you need a new one you gotta go through them but i thought ahead and i got steel and brass ahead of time and uh those got here way sooner it also has a massive cooling fan on the back that allows you to just, you know, keep everything cool. You know, because this part's a pretty big part. You know, it has a big printing and keeping everything nice and cool is nice. In terms of the little display here, it seems pretty good. I mean, it's magnetically attached. That's good. Also, you don't have to worry about oh! dropping it, he says before dropping it. So also, yeah, it's also connected to a phone cord. But in terms of settings it has, I mean, you got all, you, got, you know, I got the normal move settings, so. I like, you know, the one millimeter to 10 to 0.1. And uh, let's see, setting. You got fan control, light control, which you can turn on and off. So, Whoop. and there's even a little observation light at the bottom there. Oh, isn't that nice and cute? Which uh, I probably won't be needing or using. Uh, the filament detector also has an on off option. And I like that because, honestly, like, if I don't want that to happen, because the other 3D printer I have in there that I'm never going to use again, that wasn't an option, so I had to, you know, fuse two cables together. Uh, it does have a Wi-Fi option, but from what I've heard, that doesn't actually work, and it doesn't store, like, you can't, like, send the file to the printer and then have the printer start on its own. It's just, like, you, you have to keep your computer on for that to do that, from what I've heard. But, you know, I will be needing it. Uh, it does require a USB, which I will not be using every time I get a USB from overseas. I trash it and go online and buy a fresh version. I don't trust it. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, the instructions, I will say, were kind of confusing. Uh, I had to go basically watch their own video on how to assemble it, which, you know, not a big deal. Uh, but, yeah. This thing is definitely going to be very useful for, I don't know what that was, printing very big parts. And just <laughs> look how big it is. Um, oh, wait, hang on a second. Hello there, Candy. I need your head, Mimi. Oh, wait, it's stuck. Okay. Oh, don't move. So basically what I was going to, the first thing I was going to print is I was going to print this and this top piece because... This is, these are all four pieces, but I can make this one piece and that one piece, because this is barely too wide, and that's definitely too wide. But, uh, yeah, that might be something I might do as a test print. And I love even when you get a printer this big. <laughs> they give you, like, the smallest, <laughs> smallest sample for PLA. Also, use a little itty-bitty Wi-Fi antenna. I'm probably never going to use this, but I'll just keep it anyway. One thing I do love about this thing. Look at this wrench! 
Man, I wish the Ender 3s came with one this long. You know, you get some good leverage on there. Also, you don't have to worry about sticking, like, look at it. You know, it's nice. I think that's nice, Chico. <laughs> uh, I can print so many big things now. I can print a giant one of you. Well, not a giant one of you. I can, I can probably make a two a one-to-one a -one scale of the staff bot, and it will perfectly fit in this. Oh, the possibilities are endless what I can do with this now. I mean, granted, I have to figure out where to put this anywhere. Uh, what my plan was is that I won't put it on a bed, like on a table, like this. I'm going to put it on, on a table like this. So this side will be facing out. Just so you don't have to worry about it smacking my wall. Also, I got to make room in the other room for this to happen. So, uh, yeah, I might put this on my floor and do a pr test print tonight, or I might do it tomorrow. I'm not sure, but just this thing is so big. And all of this is from you, from Ad Revenue. Uh, I've had Ad Revenue's been dropping because, you know, I'm not producing videos and whatever that are, you know, that's, you know, getting people's attention, getting viewership, making money. Anyway, so, the, you know, it's been a slow process to build it up, and I've been saving. For this, for a while. Because, you know, I, I gotta use some of the money for, you know, getting filament for the 3D printers and, you know, and getting electronic equipment and stuff like that. So, getting, saving up for this, which, I mean, this isn't like $1,000. This is only, this is only like 460 when I bought it on sale. So, I mean, it was a save-up process. So, thank you, all of you, who, uh, you know, who, uh, what was this do? Oh, keeping that like that. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all, because this thing is definitely going to make projects a little easier, since I can just, I can print a bunch of small pieces, just like, and just have it run for a day, and then just pop it off, and I can go right back to it. So, uh, yeah, this project is so cool. Ow, I stepped on the thing again. I stepped on... These things, these things were in transit. I've almost slipped and fell on them twice. So, uh, yeah, uh, thank you all for this, for the opportunity to, you know, not just continue working on these projects and building them, but, uh, yeah. Oh, also, I have this little dude now, his own little shelf. I forgot why. I think it was for, like, some support thing. I don't remember what it was, but he fell, and he knocked over the fast force. So there they are gonna leave them there for a few minutes also their their special hand broke and it's all down there i don't want to go get it mm, giraffe. Mm. so uh yeah uh, i have to clean up this room now because this thing is so big i mean i had to it's just uh <laughs> so uh yeah thank you like Share, subscribe, all that stuff. Make the app, the, uh, the, 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 the vomit of the Thoughts family grow. Oh, and you might just get a special kiss. Mm -hmm.